Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Ad Armor TV. We've been doing this series of videos for a year now, and during that time, there's been some really interesting questions asked by viewers. So today, we'll take a closer look at two or three of those questions and see if we can answer them. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. I'm acutely aware of the time constraints we have for our videos, and no one regrets more than I when I have to leave something out. So that's why it's really important for the questions to keep coming in, so we can look at some of those omissions in greater detail. Now, one of the latest videos was on some legal questions of being a professional photographer, and two people, Linda Allen and Gustavo Campas, want a little more detail when it comes to releases. For this question, however, I'll only be looking at model releases. First, let me be absolutely clear, you do not need model releases to sell images of people. It's just without them, your work loses wider appeal in the marketplace. So what do I mean by that? There are two ways of selling images. One is commercially, and the other is editorially. Commercial is basically for advertising, when your images are helping sell a product. Editorial is predominantly for magazines and newspapers. For picture sales, an editorial image in a newspaper or magazine running for one day at half a page with a print run of about a half a million will net you about $300. While that same image used commercially can make thousands of dollars. Newspapers and magazines don't care about the releases. However, agencies do. Their clients are both commercial and editorial. I know it can be a little daunting to get people to sign a piece of paper, but as a photographer, it's fast becoming necessary. Now, generic releases are widely available on the internet. Just remember, if the subject is under 18, you need a parent to sign the release. In our interiors video, Norm Powell points out that in one of the images that included an interior shot with exterior light coming through an open door, we didn't shoot two or three images and blend them together. Now, most DSLR cameras will struggle with this kind of dynamic range. One method to fix the problem is to balance the two light sources by flooding the interior with lots of light, therefore achieving balance. But this method involves a lot of powerful artificial lights and a lot of weight. An easier way is to make two or three images at different exposures, one for inside, one for outside, and maybe one for the mid-tone, and then blend them together in the computer. You just have to make sure the camera is securely mounted on a tripod and don't move the setup between shots. Bill A asked recently if I back button focus. Well, the answer is yes, I do. All it means is I've assigned one of the buttons at the back of my camera as my focusing control, therefore freeing up the shutter button to do what it does best, release the shutter. It takes a bit of getting used to, but once you have, you'll never go back. Marlon asked on my night photography video to explain why we should switch to the bulb setting. The bulb setting on your exposure control allows us to open the shutter for longer than 30 seconds, which is what the camera will normally allow you to do. So if we need exposures for longer than 30 seconds, typically for night scenes, we need to switch to bulb, which means the shutter will stay open for as long as the shutter release is depressed. Doing this kind of exposure necessitates a tripod and a cable release. Thanks, until next time, you've been watching Adorama TV, and I'm Doug McKinley. You can also subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And we'd love to hear what you think, so please get in touch, and like and share our videos. And don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.